Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited to draw with you today. Today we're gonna be drawing a really cool fish, mainly because I live here in Idaho now. We moved here a few years ago and I picked up fly fishing. And fly fishing has been so much fun to learn and I've caught some really, really beautiful fish. And one of those fish is called a rainbow trout. We have lots and lots of rainbow trout out here. So I thought because they have such cool, beautiful markings, really cool colors and spots on them, they'd be a lot of fun to draw. But first, we need to make sure we have all of our tools ready to draw. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. We're gonna need a pencil for our sketching, of course. And uh, make sure you have some type of eraser because we're gonna be doing some really loose marks on here and we're gonna erase that at the end after we do our outline with a dark marker or a pen. And at the very, very end, we're gonna do some coloring. So obviously the rainbow trout has lots of colors in it, hence the name rainbow trout. So get your colors ready and uh, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our sketch. We're gonna start off by drawing like a football shape, but a real skinny football. <laughs> but we wanna make sure that we leave enough room. Well, in the front, we can kind of make a little mark there. This is gonna be the tip of our nose or our mouth of our fish. And this is gonna be, if this is gonna be the tail back here, we're gonna need a little bit of room for the body to get to that tail. So we're gonna go about right there. So make a little mark right there, there, and there. And if you even need to, you can draw a line right down the middle. But again, we're gonna draw this really lightly because this is a sketch and we're not gonna have this be on the final drawing. We're gonna have to erase this at some point. So right now I'm gonna connect these two dots right here by kinda of going like this, football shape little arc right on the top here. There we go. Now, let's do another one. About the same underneath here. They're not really fat fish. There we are, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit thicker, we can make them, a little, maybe we'll make them a little fatter so we have more to color in, huh? <laughs> or this one's been eating really, really well. They actually eat a lot because they're predators. They love eating things like insects, other smaller fish, and even other rainbow trout's eggs. Woo. So I'm gonna make them, if you wanna make them thicker, we can, we can go and do that. But I'm gonna kinda start off starting a little bit thin and then we'll see what we need to do. But let's make this tail here first. So I'm gonna do the tail by just going up like this. From here, I'm gonna kinda do a little curve and a curve out like that as well. Now maybe that's too far out, so you don't have to necessarily stick to that, but it was kind of giving us a guide so we didn't go off the end of the page. So maybe just draw a little line right here. We'll do a little curve to match it with the body, and then we'll draw a little line right there and a line right there going out. And then they have a pretty unique looking tail. It goes in and comes back out over there like that. And if you want, you can round that off on the ends, these little corners, so it's not, it's not just a little pointy corner. So it goes in, and you know what? I will make this go a little bit bigger. I'll make this a thicker fish, like this. There we are. I like that a little bit better because it'll be a little more fun to draw. There you go, and this is why we do the sketches, right? Because we're gonna keep messing with it until we get it to the right point that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit of this on the inside just because it's getting a little, a little bit busy with all the sketches, and that's okay. If you do lots of erasing, that's not the end of the world. It's actually better that you have to you do this because if I did it with my dark marker or my pen over here, I did the outline, then I would never be able to erase that. <laughs> All right, so we have our uh, trout body, but they have extra things on there. They have fins, don't they? So we gotta add some of those fins. Now they have one distinct one, like the little sail that's on the back of their, or on the top of their back. We're gonna go a little curve right back here. And then we can add more of a, like a little bit of a, Kind of a little bit more character to the line or, or the fin, but let's start with just what the main shape is. And it kind of goes like, like this. There we are. So if you want to make it a little bit wavier, now you can kind of do that. It'd be kind of fun, or you can round it off. And then we'll do another little, little guy right here. 
Maybe I'll kind of start that out. Get that a little bit bigger over here. And then I'm gonna draw, to, I'm actually gonna divide off the fish body from the tail. And it goes, it doesn't start right here in the middle where you'd think it would, it goes right back here. So we're gonna draw a little curve right there. So where do you find rainbow trout? You find them in rivers and streams all over the west side of the Rocky Mountains in the US. And pretty much any continent in the world, except for Antarctica, has rainbow trout. They've made it everywhere. But uh, here in the US, west of the Rocky Mountains, so including here in Idaho, we see lots and lots of rainbow trout. They're all over the place. But oh, let's add this little uh, fin on the bottom. We have two more on the bottom here. So this one kind of goes out, little line over here, here, and it draws a little line right there. But if you want to give it a little bit more, I might give it a little bit more character. There we go. <laughs> Make it a little more interesting. And then we have one last one on the, on the bottom side here that looks like this. A little curve and a little curve. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe it is a little bit bigger. So there is another fin that's gonna go right here, but first we need to make sure we draw the eyes and its gills and its mouth and things so we know where that one goes. So we're gonna give our little trout here, maybe let's do the mouth first. So I'm gonna kinda go up. So right above the middle line, I'm gonna take a little line and bring it right down like this. Down like that. And then I'm gonna have another little line going right here. So it's gonna have its little mouth open maybe right there. And then the bottom lip is gonna come out a little bit more than the top, the front lip, just a little bit. We'll do a little curve right there. We'll curve it and we'll bring that right back into the body. There we are. And then we'll erase this stuff right here and this. Erase as you go. And then we'll bring this kind of going down a little bit more. And then we'll point from this little Point right here, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna give him a big top lip. <laughs> there we are. A big top lip. Awesome, it's starting to look like a fish. Starting to look like a fish. We left a lot of room here for a big eyeball to make our trout really friendly. So we're gonna draw a circle right here. Maybe we'll have him looking down at its dinner. And draw a bigger pupil here if you want to make him look friendly and happy. We'll draw that big pupil, that dark spot in the middle of the eye. All right, so now we have an idea of where everything is. So we can draw a couple gills in the back. This is how they breathe underwater. Through their gills. Right here. There we go. And then we'll add a little fin right here on the side. So draw a little line straight down, one going up a little bit, another one right here, and we'll have it kind of come back a little bit like that. There we are. The last little fin on there. All right, well this is looking like a trout, but it doesn't look like a rainbow trout yet because we need to color it, right? So we'll do that here in a second. But first, let's make sure everything's good. Maybe we want to add a few more details before we go to our uh, outlines. Maybe draw some little lines here on the fins. Maybe draw a few here and there. And then on the tail, of course. Clean up anything that you want that you've, anything in your sketch that you want to change up. Make sure that's cleaned up before so you don't get it confused and accidentally go over it with your pen. But if you're ready and you're feeling good about it, Get your dark marker or pen and then we'll start our outline. I'm going to start here on the top of the body of my fish. Sometimes my hand gets in the way I can't see <laughs> what, what I'm drawing anymore. I'm going to go up here. And maybe I'll round this off too a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go down here on the bottom. Now, the rainbow trout that I catch are not super big. They're not super big. But the biggest rainbow trout ever caught was like 53 pounds. It was massive. I have never seen one that big. And I'm starting to wonder 
if there is a fisherman that was making up some stories on how big their fish was. <laughs> that seems incredible. But some, so there is a theory though about some of these fish uh, that these, uh, that trout, well actually trout are, um, are part of the salmon family. So there are salmon that I always thought were salmon, but I guess they're trout. You'll have to verify this, but that are called steelhead. And it's basically rainbow trout that go to, they live in fresh water and like streams and things. And then when they get older, uh, they finish off their life in the sea, uh, in the ocean, in salt water, and they become steelhead. Now, I don't know exactly that how that process works or what you should actually call them, if they're salmon or trout, but uh, from my understanding, <laughs> uh, steelhead are basically giant rainbow trout, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know that. All right, I'm going to finish my little pupil off over here. There we are. You can even draw little teeth if you want. Make sure we draw the little gills right over here. Did you know that trout, I mean, this is kind of fitting because it's a really colorful fish, but trout in general can see more colors than people can. I didn't know that. So they can see all different types of colors than we can. I thought that was really neat. There's also a kind of shrimp that can see thousands and thousands of different colors that we can't see which is pretty awesome animals are amazing all right let's draw the last these little lines here for our fins there we go I got a little we got away from me a little bit and we'll draw the top fin like that do you guys like to go fishing have any of you guys gone fishing before? I didn't grow up fishing very much, but since moving here to, to Idaho, I've noticed that everybody loves to spend a lot of time outdoors. And one of the things they love to do out here, because there's lots of really good fishing, is go fishing. And fly fishing seemed like a whole lot of fun. So I get to catch these beautiful fish and then let them go and let them go about their lives. and. <laughs> It's just a really fun, really fun activity. You get to see these really beautiful fish up close. All right, so the last thing we need to do before we get to our coloring is erase all the sketch from underneath here. You know, erase that sketch. Oh, while I'm, while I'm erasing, I have to tell you one more really neat fact and one really distinct fact about rainbow trout is that they love to go back to where they were born to lay their own eggs to have, you know, for their babies, to have their babies. They like to go back to the exact same stream where they were born. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna erase all this and then I'm gonna jump straight into color and pay close attention to my coloring. You can pause it at the end. I'm gonna kind of speed through here. I'll let you do your coloring as well. But at the very end, you may want to pause it and take a good look at what the markings are or look up a picture of a rainbow trout. It might be kind of fun to see exactly what they are. But I'm going to play with some greens and they all have a distinct pink line on them with some little dots on them, which would be kind of fun. So I'm going to do that. You go do yours and uh, we'll meet up at the end. Our rainbow trout is thinnest. This one was so much fun. I had a blast doing this one. I love the colors. Now, most of them have like a green, yellow. Some of them have a green, blue uh, color to them. A little bit silvery sometimes. But they always have that distinct pink streak right on their side. And that's what makes these so cool. That and those little dots that I got to put all over the place. Um, it just makes this really come together and I'm so happy. So now that we're done, we need to sign our name because we are so proud of what we made and we want everybody to know it. So I am gonna put my initials down there and I came up with a name for my fish and his name is Kevin because Kevin's a good friend of mine and he's the one who taught me how to fly fish. So I find it only fitting to name it after him. 
But thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. This has been an absolute blast. If you have any ideas for other animals or things that you'd like to draw and see right here on this show, go ahead and just direct message me on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. And I'd also love to see your drawing. So ask your parents if they can go on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. Just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club and I can go ahead and see it. And some of you might make it into the end of my videos where I get to showcase some of your work. So stick around at the end of this video and I'll show you some of your work as well. All right, and before I say goodbye, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.